Welcome to the Islamic Informant. I greet you all with the same greeting of peace that has been used from all the prophets from Adam to Muhammad. Assalamu alaikum. For those of you that don't understand what this means, it's the Arabic term for peace be upon you. I bear witness that there is only one God and Muhammad is his messenger and servant. I seek refuge with God against Satan the accursed from misleading and being misled. This message, this video, is for all of those out there who are spreading hate, lies, and propaganda against Islam. You sit there, you bring forth false information, and then claim it to be authentic. You call Islam a religion of the devil. You call Muslims devil worshippers. You call the Prophet of Islam, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, a pedophile. You call him a liar, somebody who's false. But yet, this is the same prophet that is discussed about by Moses and by Jesus. But you deny him. You say that Islam promotes terrorism. Islam promotes honor killings. Islam teaches hate. And we despise the Jews and the Christians. You say that Muslims are filthy mud dogs that we're pigs ourselves but yet all of these are all lies against us and most of you that are talking most of you that make these claims these you know really pathetic claims don't even know what you're talking about you don't even know what the real what the real meaning of jihad is what the real translation of it is you think that it's that jihad means holy war. How can you sit there and say that you know what a Muslim believes when you don't even know what the word jihad means? Or what the word Islam means? Or what the word Muslim means? Most of you sit there, you copy and paste text from anti-Islamic websites. Or you direct us whenever we're telling you what Muslims believe to, you know, anti-Islamic videos saying this is what you guys believe. Here's, your, here's my proof right here. And you point us to the Religion of Peace website, or all these other tiny URLs. It's kind of funny and kind of pathetic at the same time. If you want to sit there, if you want to make a claim, you need to make sure that it's right first of all. You can't sit there and say that this is what Muslims really believe when you don't know for sure that that's what we believe. When all, whenever a Muslim tells you to produce your proof and to bring it to us in the Quran, you can't do it. You try to bring a few verses and say, oh, this is what it means. But in fact, it's not what it means. Well, first of all, Islam teaches us that Judaism and Christianity are revelations from God. That Jews and Christians, as well as Muslims, and those who believe in God and the last day and work righteousness, shall all have the reward with their Lord. Islam teaches that a person who commits a murder is indeed a wrongdoer. A person who kills an innocent kills all of mankind. A person who saves an innocent saves all of mankind. This is what Islam teaches. But yet you want to tell us that we hate, teach hate and that the Quran tells us to kill. Most of you don't even know that Allah is used in all the Arab nations by Christians, Jews, and Muslims. Allah is an Arabic word for God. It's not a rock God. It's not a moon God. And this is some more false propaganda that you copy and paste from different websites and different things. And it has no bearing or no meaning. You say that in the Quran, it doesn't once say that God is love. Well, one of God's attributes right in the Quran is Al-Wadud, the loving one. So how are you going to bring false information and break the ninth commandment and say that we lie? 
say that we are the ones who are bad, when instead you are the one who's lying and you are the one who's bearing false witness. Islam is a religion from God. Just because it's in the Arabic language, the Quran is in the Arabic language does not mean that we worship some other God. A lot of people, they try to take a translation from an Arabic word and they try to bring a full meaning from it. When, as a matter of fact, the Arabic language is much more complicated than that. It is much more complicated than just trying to say, oh, this means this. For example, in the Quran, where it talks about, take not Jews or Christians for friends, nor protectors. The actual translation for this should be do not follow them that's what the actual translation should be that's why when you see a Quran that's in English it always says the translation of the Holy Quran or the meaning of the Holy Quran it doesn't specifically call itself the Quran so I urge all of you they have sat there and slandered Islam, slandered Muslims, and slandered the truth to actually pick up a Quran and actually read. Not just a couple of verses. So I urge all of you that want to tell us that we're bad, that the Muslims hate and kill and deceive and lie and we're devil worshippers. I urge all of you to actually read the Quran. What's it going to hurt you to pick up the Quran and read it from front to back? And did you know that the Quran is the only book that if you destroyed all the other books in the world, all the Bibles, if you destroyed all the Qur'ans, if you destroyed all the, uh, the Torah, all the, you know, the data, computer data, all the files, Word documents, everything. There's no book remaining in no form whatsoever. The Qur'an is the only book that would survive. Why is that? Because Muslims strive to memorize the Qur'an from front to back. This is why Muslims from all over the world pray in Arabic. Because the Arabic is unchanged. Now here's something that you might not know that the Bible has been changed from its original form. The Quran, when it's translated in English, is changed from its original form. How is that possible? Why did I say that the Bible has been changed? Well, when you take a language and you translate it, you have to compensate for language deficiencies, especially from Hebrew and Greek into English. There's a lot of words that don't have meaning in English, so you have to compensate for it. You have to add words and you have to describe what that word is actually meaning. Well, some, per some people's interpretations of what that word is, is a little bit different from what it actually is. So yes, the Bible is not in its true form today. The Bible has been revised re-revised even. Now, pick up a Quran, pick up Hadith, read it, and then come tell me of what a Muslim believes. You would be surprised. And you would see that this is why more than 300 Americans a day convert to Islam. Well, it's not actually converting, it's revert. And there's going to be more videos about what Islam is and what a Muslim is. So I leave you all with the same greetings that I came in. The greeting of peace. Assalamu alaikum.